This is from Arcax saying, if you believe as we do that that this <laughs> that this means all asset classes everywhere can benefit from tokenization, will move on chain in the medium term. The market opportunity is actually every tradable asset class in existence. <laughs>
the compliant equity crowdfunding platform that he's built. Uh, it's FINRA and SEC compliant, I believe, or registered. Um, and unpacking the future of Hashpack with Ty Project here as well. Uh, Hashpack obviously has ma made uh, major announcements lately as far as the launch of the pack token, things like that. Obviously not financial advice with anything we're talking about today. Just giving you a heads up that this is coming down the pipeline. This will be Thursday, April 4th at, what is this, 10 a.m.? Uh, I think it's at 11 a.m. start time tomorrow. We did a really good space with um, Pangea as well, and we, uh, as well as some cross chain speakers, XRPL. Uh, we've got Galaxy from Hedera. We have uh, Dfinity. Uh, we have Solana Project actually came into this one. But Charles Ads, uh, Adkins uh, wanted to come in and kind of do an intro uh, into this space. Um, Charles obviously has experience from Aptos, has experience with Polygon as well. And he gave some kind of interesting thoughts as far as just how early we are in Web3 technology and how kind of this patchwork of interoperability may occur over time. And I, I wanted to share it with you guys real quick. Can you actually, you know, reach out to? And so I think the one thing that's missing right now is the fact that you know, we don't have that www, that HTTP. We don't have that standard protocol that's happening um, between all of the chains right now. And I think it's it is going to come. And you know, th this is history repeating itself all over again, just with higher velocity. So now we all talk on X all day. We we urge and and goad each other on to like move faster, do things faster, but. And it will happen faster. But in reality, the internet going from several disparate networks into one network, um, into multi-hosted. I mean, you know, in the, the early 90s, there was maybe, I think there was like 86 to 150 um, internet hosting providers, which I would consider, quote unquote, the OG nodes of the day. And now we're, we're already starting to see that ramp up here again. So this is essentially a, a reboot of the internet owned by the public with hashed and cryptographically safe data. And so just think about that process and how that went about and just do it faster. Yeah, that, that was really great. Charles was in there for this entire space and it was, it's good to, it was also really cool for him to kind of raise the hand to do this in front of a, you know, sometimes it's always interesting to me because Genfinity that we don't bought our, our spaces and things like that. So there's spaces with thousands of people and there's spaces with hundreds and, the social fi aspect, um, I think, is going to be huge in the future. So we had, you know, a bunch of social finance projects come on uh, between, like I said, Solana, Internet Computer, XRPL, uh, LF0, um, Hedera. And, you know, Charles offered to come in kind of at first and give kind of a precursor to all this stuff. I wanted to go down through this just because I don't want to miss this. And this is big. Um, this is Hedera joining the UK Crypto Asset Business Council. I'm always a fan when I do research of like trying to figure out, you know, relationships and associations. Um, I will say it's been interesting to see kind of Ripple and Hedera being involved in a lot of different things kind of in tandem. Um, but one I think slept on company is Arcax. And if you're familiar with Hedera, you're familiar with that uh, Aberdeen um, joining the governing council. And let me share with you some of this research. So this is the UK Crypto Business, Business Council. Can see all of the companies here. Uh, Hedera just joined this, and I did some deep dives into Aberdeen before. Now, our Aberdeen launched its first blockchain-based in, uh, investment by tokenizing part of their fixed 15 billion pound Lux Sterling Money Market Fund. The token was issued on Hedera Hashgraph Distributed Ledger Technology, uh, where Aberdeen is on the governing council. And Aberdeen used the Arcax tokenization engine to mint this token. So the 15 billion pound Lux uh, Sterling Money Market Fund um, leveraged on Hedera DLT. Uh, Aberdeen obviously tokenizing that through Arcax's tokenization engine to mint the token. Now, if you do more digging into Arcax, you won't find this on their site. Um, I'll just I'll put it this way, I guess. You, if you do targeted searches, you can find a. Uh, tokenization roadmap through Arcax. And I know a lot of times in this space, we hear kind of the all the money narrative type stuff. I certainly don't want to get into speculation there, but I this is an image that is literally from right within their roadmap. This isn't mine. These aren't the views of me. This isn't the view of Genfinity, not financial advice. But if you look at where this where tokenization might take us over time and what, what types of markets are going to be impacted, 
gets into the world money market uh, perspective here. And um, this is from Arcax saying, if you believe as we do that, that this, <laughs> that this means all asset classes everywhere can benefit from tokenization, will move on chain in the medium term, the market opportunity is actually every tradable asset class in existence. So without getting too um, big eyeballs there, so and I kind of have some just facts to back this up from my own personal aspect here. You can look at the advisors of Arcax, um, and again, Arcax tokenization engine is what you know minted the uh, tokenization aspects through Aberdeen and the 15 billion pound Lux Money Market Fund. So, uh, chairman of the Royal Bank of Canada, uh, former chief strategy officer at the London Stock Exchange, uh, Customs House, blah blah blah. So. Pretty cool. I just kind of wanted to touch on that. Wanted to give a huge shout out to Seeky as well. I think you're going to see a lot more uh, Seeky aspects through us in the near future as well uh, and supporting kind of live streaming and uh, artists across Web3. So musicians, I do believe that the music industry uh, is one of the kind of industries that we haven't seen a huge amount of adoption with Web3 yet. But I, if, you, if, you, if you're a musician or if you know about the music industry as a whole, um, how a lot of money gets taken off the top, how there's like big bureaucracies with, you know, concerts and live events and things like that. I think that the music industry is really interesting to uh, inject in value from Web3. They've got an event called Seeky Royale coming out, which is uh, 420, uh, April 20th. And this is hosted in Vegas. There's a bunch of ecosystems down here, if you can see. So when you talk cross-chain, uh, these guys deal with ecosystems like Hedera. They have aspects built within the Hedera ecosystem. They deal with Near Protocol. They deal with deal with uh, Polygon as well. Um, they're kind of in an alliance with Ally, um, Allied Esports right now. Uh, they've got some really kind of previous cool posts with like them being with like the Wu Tang Clan. I mean, how freaking cool is that? I mean, <clears throat> Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to with. So I think uh, you can see Chris in one of these videos from Seeky as well. But um, check out Seeky app, Seeky.io. And here's this Seeky Royal Las, uh, Las Vegas event. This is Saturday, April 20th from 7 p.m. to uh, around midnight. So if you guys are in the Vegas area, feel free to check this out. All right, got through the business council aspect um, and some of my weird old deep dives that I like to do. This was pretty cool. Fligs Mobile making their grand debut on Hedera this May 2024. Flexible mobile plans, cashback rewards, and decentralized ID and Web3 loyalty all in one intuitive app. Learn about us at fligsmobile.com forward slash Hedera and follow us for more updates. You can go to fligsmobile.com and check this out. Um, I would give a little bit of kind of safety advice here. Anytime you're dealing with anything on a phone, try to separate everything that you have. If you're dealing with crypto, if you're dealing with digital assets or aspects of identity or things like that, just try to separate that stuff out. Like I would, I would even go as far as to recommend don't use... Uh, your phone uh, that you talk to people on or that you use email for, for the same stuff that you use crypto on. Anyways, it's a cool initiative. I think digital identity plays in. I think, you know, the wallet aspects through phone, it's all going to happen eventually. And we are getting there very much so, but I'll be the, um, I'll be the guy that's raising the flag that says, just make sure you're doing your due diligence and being careful. But this is a really cool initiative through Fligs. And I wanted to bring it up. I know that Solana has their their phone as well, but, um, you know, Fligs Mobile on Hedera is pretty cool. I'm going to definitely kind of take a little bit of a deeper dive into this one and maybe try to get these guys on for some sort of an interview or something. Wanted to give a huge shout out again to Karate Combat. Uh, huge shout out to Thai Project as well. I'm bringing these guys on Thursday with Seed Starter, um, with Bank Social and Hashpack. Thai Project has uh, an, a Hashpack uh, branded arc plate. These are cold storage key recovery plates. So outside of kind of just writing your seed phrase down on a piece of paper, this gives you kind of an added la layer of security and really going to dive all into uh, the hash pack, um, pack token launch here coming up soon as well. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. This is huge. Uh, I should probably tackle this briefly as well. So this is, let me get through this. this I, and I, the one person I did see kind of really tackle this stuff was uh, HBAR Bull, who does such a fantastic job with weekly updates. If you don't follow uh, Brandon, the HBAR bull uh, in the Hedera ecosystem, I'm sure all you guys do. Um, I know he tackled this, but this is Hedera and blockchain for energy. Um, and just paying attention to the organizations that are involved in, the, in this. This, this is an, an alliance that includes powerhouses like Chevron, Exxon Mobil, and Shell. Dedicated to integrating blockchain or distributed ledger technology to enhance efficiency, transparency, and collaboration. 
In the energy industry, the consortium's journey began with the vision to harness blockchain's potential to streamline ops, reduce costs, and improve sustainability. This is B4E Carbon, and it's the latest outcome of their efforts, aiming to revolutionize emissions management by providing a trustworthy and scalable digital platform. So pretty cool. You can check this out. We, again, wrote an article on this on Genfinity as well. And I think that that might be it for us for March. Let me double check here. This is the space we did with Charles Ad uh, Adkins. <clears throat> DLT Climate Hackathon through the HBAR Foundation with a chance for winning $100,000 in prizes. Um, Gamify as a focus. And yeah, that kind of takes us through mid-March to end of March. If you guys enjoyed this, again, huge shout out to Karate Combat. Looking forward to the spaces that we're putting together for uh, April. I'm trying to put together something with Algorand and Hedera, but I'll leave it at that. That being said, let us know if you guys like these, if you have comments or suggestions, and looking forward to the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.